guys we are here in the Philippines Manila uh, just at the airport landed um, from Hanoi Vietnam I need to grab some breakfast and uh, today I'm catching up with a friend here uh, we're looking at a project uh, to work on together and um, I'm looking forward to that uh, as well as that I've pretty much got no other plans but I do really want to look at heading down to one of the beaches here in the Philippines um, maybe Boracay or uh, one in Cebu somewhere and do a little bit of diving if I can I've only got like five days to do that uh, but first things first let's go and grab some breakfast and then head on out into the city of Manila all right guys so we're here looking at grabbing a sim and uh, this is globe and these yeah. are the globe staff what's up yeah <laughs> hello hello what's hello. up what's yeah up? yeah <laughs> hello hello i think he's tired i think he's tired <laughs> anyway uh so what's up, what's up, Dola? i've got Dola. this plan here seven gigs um nice. pretty much just pure data and it is around 600 pesos right yes. yeah yeah 600 pesos which is i think new zealand about 15 or something like that new zealand dollars and uh, they've got a 11 gig one here as well yes. so she's just loading it up um, she must have started work today and you must be finishing work soon, right? Yes. See, I knew it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Behave yourselves. Alright guys, we are out of the airport and I'm gonna go look for the bus to head to one of the malls. I'm gonna see where it is. This way, I think. So managed to grab a sim for $15 New Zealand. Comes with about 8 gigabytes of uh, data, which is pretty good uh, considering the prices back home in New Zealand are quite expensive. Well, guys, I've got some of the uh, currency here in the Philippines. It's a peso. This is the 20. That's a 50. Uh, a hundred and a one thousand not sure who these people are maybe royalty and politicians I guess but this is a currency uh, so for New Zealand I think it is about 150 pesos is about five dollars New Zealand um, and this is a five dollar coin it's got a five on there could even be five cents no nah, I think it's five dollars anyway I think the bus is off and we're heading into Manila City KFC here. 
I've seen they've got um, Wendy's, uh, Burger King, a lot of the fast food outlets that uh, majority of the Western uh, countries have. But I'm really fascinated by these Jeeps. They're really old school. But hey, they do the job, man, you know? guys so we have left the bus just walking some of the streets of uh, Manila it's pretty crowded not too bad kind of reminds me of uh, Thailand mixed with Vietnam just gonna have a little walk around the block check out a few shops head to the uh, gadget cyber mall these guys are fixing screens right on the side of the road here. Lots of little shops and whatnot just along the side of the roads here in the Philippines. Some guy selling, uh, looks like socks bits and pieces locks, bracelets, gadgets scarves bit of everything Vanilla Vanilla in Manila getting up to about 30 degrees here in the Philippines so uh, sort of the same temperatures as uh, Vietnam but check these out Little taxis head on down this way power lines look the same as uh, Vietnam and Thailand all bunched together So here they've got a mix of motorbikes and cars whereas uh, Vietnam it's like 90% motorbikes some of the little supermarkets here kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Indonesia actually Bali where they've got little shops with uh, currency exchanges in them this one's a pawn shop, so you go in there and you exchange some of your wares for money. Not the other pawn. So I noticed here in uh, Philippines, the malls, you have to go through screening before you go into the mall. I think they check for bombs and uh, other bits and pieces that are pretty nasty. Um, similar to Thailand going into the malls here you've got to like do bag searches and stuff like that I've got my drone in my bag so I'm not sure how I'm gonna fear but we'll go through anyway and see how it goes Robertson's place Wow check out all those Nikes looks like they've got some kind of Fair special going on here. 
little bad mall. You can see some of the gadgets up here. So I'm gonna go check some of those out. Check that out guys. Vietnamese food in the Philippines. We've got bunka, tofu salad noodle, a few bits and pieces. We've even got the vegetarian salad. Wow, that looks nice. I do want to try some Filipino food though. Check out that setup. GoPro, same as my setup. But I got a better mic. All the gadgets. More gadgets in here. Actually, like the little shops. Like these ones over here that sell a variety of different gadgets and stuff. Some of these stores are very expensive. So it's good to check out some of these kind of stores. Okay, but getting some bits and pieces. Cables. Stands. All sorts of stuff here. So they've got like a couple of floors of gadgets. Gadget Plus. Some of the uh, portable wireless speakers. Pretty good. Alright guys, so we are here at the SM Robinson Mall uh, in the heart of Manila Metro City. Uh, this is the third floor of the mall and it's pretty much gadgets, lots of gadgets here. Bags for your gadgets, phones. Actually looking for some SD cards, if I can. Check this out. Major shopping going on down there on the floor. too bad okay. Let's see if these guys Hi, got it Hi do you have a uh, SD cards SD card Yeah How many do you um, 64 and 128 just want to see oh, Time to grab a little bite Got a meat options. This is the food court here. Got steak, chicken, some noodles, seafood noodle soup for about two or three dollars, which is pretty cheap. Food's quite cheap here, actually. All that Filipino food, man. I don't know what to buy. It's a bit of a look. Mr. Pardes. Might grab something here. Philippine food, double seafood. Look at all their food. Bit of squid there with the rice. Yeah, let's grab one. Hello, smoothie, uh, mango smoothie. Oh, mango shake, mango shake, mango shake. Yes, large. Yes, yeah, okay. Might grab one of these waffles as well. Famous Belgian waffles place. Gonna grab a waffle. Blueberry looks tasty. Maybe even a peanut butter. Actually, I'll try the hazelnut. Can I have a hazelnut waffle, please? So mixing it on the uh, 
waffle maker. Bit of hazelnut. Looks like peanut. Peanut butter. There we go. That was, I think, about a dollar. New Zealand. Pretty cheap. Okay, thank you. Bye. So the mango smoothie is pretty tasty. It was only about two dollars, which is pretty cheap. And um, I actually think it's a medium, not a large. It's still tasty. Beautiful hazel waffle. It's only something like a dollar, dollar fifty, New Zealand. Sort of reminds me of the ones of Vietnam. Still a little bit tasty. Anyway, I managed to um, check out a couple of the gadget shops. Got a couple of little things. Uh, and now we are going to head to the Bay Area. And uh, I'm going to see if I can drop the drone before heading over to my mate's place. So let's head over to the Bay Area. Mm. Tasty. Alright, so we are heading to the Bayview area. So we can uh, get some views of the bay. Get the uh, fly cam up and running. Got something for you, brother. Here you go. Thank you. Pawn shops around this area, meaning places where you sell stuff like goods you might have, phones, that kind of thing. This guy. Philippine president from back in the day. Kind of reminds me of uh, Hong Kong Bay. Same color water. And uh, along here are a lot of homeless people have built like little shelters some of them even sleeping on the ground there a few shelters along there we're gonna go down and check it out a bit more and then uh, see if we can throw up the fly cam drone and get some fly cam footage some of the homeless here sleeping up on the beach little shops along the beach as well you can buy drinks and lollies and chips and stuff we're gonna try a bit further down here and then uh, try and throw the drone up so here we got people they've got their little houses along here some of them just sleeping for the day it gets really hot along here It's about 32 degrees already and it's quite humid.
so ordered a grab taxi should be here fairly soon uh, once that arrives then we'll head to my friend Michael's so we're waiting for a grab and um, I think he's like about a couple of minutes away so they've got grab here unfortunately it's not the motorbike grabs it's the car grabs but still grab is a really good app to use um, back in Vietnam I used to use uh, grab especially the motorbikes until I got my own motorbike um, and I'm pretty keen at looking at uh, hiring a motorbike here if I can see how we go anyway we're just waiting for this grab hello Thank you very much, Leonard. All the best. Yes, sir. Uh, have a nice trip and get this. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Bye.